Hey, what's up? Mike Locke here with ML Web Consulting. Today I'm going to show you how to slice images in Adobe Fireworks, or basically how I slice an image. It's a technique that I use. It's a little bit different than what you probably um, have been taught or understand how to slice images. Um, but I'm going to show you how I do it, and, and it's been working for me. Um, but here I have a mock-up in Adobe Fireworks, and I'm going to show you the HTML version of this. This is the, the HTML prototype of that mock-up. I've already gone and sliced these images out. But I'm going to show you how to slice out one of these images and basically that technique that I show you to slice this image um, is what I use for all my images. Icons, whatever it is that I need to slice out of this mock-up. I'm going to show you how I do that. So right now in Adobe Fireworks if you select an image one of the ways you can you can slice an image would be if you're on a Mac it's it's alt shift U obviously um, if you're on a PC it's control shift U and then what fireworks does is that's a shortcut and it creates a slice for you okay now I have a shadow around this button that you're not seeing so that's why the object extends around the button okay but also you can go over here and under the tools section and under this part where it says web select this slice tool and you can also slice it out where you want okay and if you select fireworks allows you to then optimize this image on the right hand side here you can create a gif or jpeg or png file out of this and you can preview the file on what it will look like under the preview button here right and you can zoom in to kinda of see what exactly you would get when you export this image okay so that's one way but that's not how I slice my images today. What I do is a little bit different. Let's just zoom out of that. Okay, so I'm ready to, now I like my mock-up, it's done, I'm ready to slice this image. What I do is I select my image, I do a copy. I copy my image and do File, New. I create an entire new canvas. And then I paste my image in a new canvas by itself. And then at this point, if you have a shadow around your image or if you just select your entire image and do canvas or modify canvas trim canvas, and what it does, it trims it down just a little bit to the point where the gradient starts. And if you want to, you can go ahead and continue to crop your image using this little crop tool right here. If I wanted to crop this even lower, I can crop it like that. Now, the reason why I do it this way is because I want to single out this image and focus on this image by itself. So again, what I would do is I always, when I have little images now, I export them as a PNG file. And when I do that, I make sure that the canvas, let's zoom in here, the canvas has a transparent background. Okay, because I don't want to be tied to any background. So in case I want to, to use different uh, background images and colors in back of this button, I don't want to be tied to a white background. So in fireworks if you if you have a black background or a different color background just make sure you you go to canvas and just take out the background so where it's you see the you know the the checkered marks there that it's uh, transparent okay so now under optimize right here instead of jpeg or gif i'm going to choose png32 okay create a transparent image i can preview the image and see what it looks like all right and then all you do is just file select file export and you're gonna save this image so here I am in the location where I'm gonna save it and it's gonna be saved as button underscore request quote dot PNG right here under export you just do images only okay and that's all you need to do and then just do export I already have the file saved so it's asking me if I want to replace it so I go to yes alright so here I am within here's my mock-up and on my HTML page this is the location for this button right here so button underscore request quote okay all I do is enter that in and it shows up okay so let's let's go ahead and change the color of the button just so you can see what what it looks like so if I go ahead and change this color let's just change it to an orange all right, so we're going to change the button to an orange color. 
Alright, so we'll just do File, Export, again. So we're going to save this as a button, uh, BNT or BTN underscore request quote underscore orange dot PNG. Okay, just do export. Again, I've already saved this, so it's asking me if I want to overwrite that, so yes. So here's my HTML prototype. Okay. And so if I go under my HTML tool of choice, I'm using Text Wrangler here, but you can use Dreamweaver or whatever. And so I'm just going to go in here and just do orange. Change the, the file name for this image. Just do control save or command save and my HTML prototype just do refresh and then there the orange is or then the button is changed so basically the technique that I'm showing you how to slice images is essentially not really slicing it I'm I'm selecting the image that I want out of my mock-up copying it and hitting file creating a new canvas for that object which I did here for the button and then exporting the button on its own as a separate object. Okay, so I'm take I'm using my I'm leaving my my mock the way it is and I'm just kind of selecting this file selecting a new object. So if I wanted to 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 export this image here, I just do copy file new paste again, you get all this other junk on the on the you know outside so what I do is select the object again do modify canvas trim trim canvas and it trims it down to the lowest part but before it starts the uh, where it starts the really gradient starts so now I'll save this off as a PNG file and then in my HTML prototype just enter it in just the way I did alright so that's pretty much it um, hopefully that you learned a little bit from this if this was uh, helpful um, uh, you know use it for for what you do today all right. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email, mlock at mlwebcode.com, and uh, we'll chat soon. All right. Bye.